Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. People have to begin to realize here that uh, you're all the Native Americans and that uh, Africans, a lot of it was a myth. Not all of it. Y'all are Africans here. But the majority of y'all are not Africans. You're Native Americans. You are here. This is your country. And they would like to make you think that everybody came from Africa. With the incident that took place in New York a couple of days ago, which is, like the brother said, which is not an isolated incident, the, first, the famous terminology that they use, I said, this is, this is getting pathetic. Rodney King is pathetic. The young brother who got strangled to death by accident in Chicago, you know what I mean, is pathetic. And the young brother who got shot in front of the motorcycle store a couple of, uh, uh, last year in Atlanta, one of the twins, your father, I am no longer safe in your hands. You have years and years of jealousy and envy of me that you created, and now you abuse me. Your father, and you take my name, your Massey, my natural instinct towards being gentle as a weakness. Here is him again, right? What is this? 2013 from one of his followers, Malachi Z. York, Yamasi Moorish Education. Are you hearing me? I'm not, I didn't make this stuff up. I did not make this stuff up. But that's not the only cult that Malachi Z. York spearheaded. That's not the only one. He also spearheaded several cults. He 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 went before after he he was uh Indian. Right, he became uh, a cowboy. They were cowboys, okay. So he became aliens. Then they became Indians, as you saw, right? Yamasi tribe. That's important. It's important. Don't forget Yamasi, okay? That's extremely important, okay? They became Indians. They then they became cowboys, okay? They became cowboys. Then lastly, they became ancient Egyptians. And you may have seen these pictures of these people in Atlanta who bought these land and they built pyramids in Atlanta. That's him. That's the same guy. And the Kemet movement is directly spearheaded because of him, just like these Aboriginal Indians. Are you hearing me? Y'all think I'm playing? See, sometimes I think you guys think I just talk, right? I just, I don't just, I don't make stuff up. Yeah, Ikhwan, like as Muslims, it is wajib for us to not only follow the truth, but speak the truth. Every once in a while, you could be mistaken. But an issue like this, which is so easy, it's not a difficult to, how difficult to fact check things. That's your job as a Muslim. But y'all are so quick to spread everything and quick to believe, like this. This this is why it's you know as much as I love you, black folk. This is why it's difficult. It's difficult because your slowness will end up getting us all killed. Because now the time I'm supposed to be using to be fighting the enemy, I have to be using to correct you. And 
you will end up fighting me anyways, <laughs> right? <laughs> For bringing you this truth. Like I'm not, I, did, I, did I do any injustice to what, what, what this man said at all? Yeah, Juan. Yeah, Juan, it's, it's just craziness, man. It's craziness. But now, remember what I said about Yamasi. When when did he start this Yamasi tribe thing? 1994. Remember, 1994 he started it. Okay. I'm Derek Hankerson, and I'm with FirstCoast.tv. This morning, I'm with my cousin B, and we're at Flagler College for the Yamasi Conference. B, good morning. Uh, Can you explain to the non-natives what B stands for? Uh, B in our language, uh, which our language is the language of Hichiti. Um, a lot of the Mikosuki people speak a form of it right now, but B means head chief, um, and me being head chief of the Yamasi Indian Nation. Do any of y'all believe that, this, look, 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 first of all, how old do you think this man is? Maybe late 20s, maybe mid to alert early 30s. Do any of y'all believe that this late 20s to early to mid 30s man is a chief of anything. A chief, not just a chief, the head chief. But I'm going to do this live for you right now to show you how the reason why, like I, like I said in my comments, I decided to do this whole subject off the cuff. All this I'm doing right now is live for you, right? That shows how ridiculous this whole argue, this whole movement is. That I don't even have to do any, because usually when I make these videos, I have to do some background, you know what I mean? Like I have to like, I want, I want to research properly. Even, this is so silly, I don't have to study hard for this. You see what I'm saying? Watch this, y'all. All this I'm doing right in front of you right now. Just, just betting it, okay? Look at this. This is the website. That's B, the head chief of the Yamasi tribe. So he has his information about the, the Yamasi history. But I want to know, what, what is this here? Enrollment. Let's click on that. Do you really know who you are? We are now accepting, get this petitions for enrollment <laughs> you can't make this stuff up we're accepting petitions for enrollment to the yamasi indian tribe <laughs> oh man for y'all who didn't catch the joke right if you know anything about tri tribes okay you don't enroll to become a member of a tribe, okay? That's not how tribes work. So wait a second, you mean to tell me, oh my goodness, this is crazy, man. Look, this is insane. You mean to tell me that in order to join your tribe, I just have to enroll? I don't marry into your tribe? I don't have to be born into your tribe? I have to enroll. This is the application. Yeah, have you ever been arrested? They're asking it because you know everybody knows if you want to be a tribe, you can't have a criminal record, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Everybody knows that. What are your skills? Blah blah blah. <laughs> All right. This is just insane. It's insanity, right? You can join the tribe for only the amount of only forty-five dollars. That's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. You want to pay to join a tribe, you can be a part of a tribe. You can be part of an Indian tribe. Right? You can be part. That's, that's what I wanted to show you. I knew it. Of, of course, it's a catch. See, Black people like to play themselves. But I'm not done yet. I'm not done with the Siamasi stuff. Remember, family. Dwight York was the first person. <laughs> okay, I said this, I called it, I told the brothers that 
all it would take is just a couple of minutes to check out if what I was saying is true or not, right? Dwight York was the first person to say that uh, uh, black people are not Africans, we are the American Indians, okay? First person to say that. But not only that, he claimed to be of the Yamasi tribe. And when you go 2015, uh, some dude B is claiming to be from what? The Yamasi tribe, right? Now, watch this, y'all. Let me share the screen. Y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all ain't ready for this. Watch this. This is the brother Isa Abu Isa. What's his name here? What does that say? So you mean to tell me that in somehow in the real world, that the architecture of the universe somehow fits your worldview with the exact same worldview of Dwight York by accident, by fluke. Because that's how the world works, right? This says Yamasi, Yamasi 4973. Okay, 